This is it. The time has arrived, Shinji Akari. And I give you my solemn word. I'll show you true happiness. I'm not worried about it at all, so quit saying weird stuff. Plus, to be honest, I think her staying there is actually a good idea. With someone else around the place, he's less likely to get lonely. Momotaro Mikoshiba! Samezuka Swim Club, first year. Swim the backstroke like a boss. Also, collect beetles! The biggest one I've got so far is the size of your head. No lie! And I love to be some spaghetti- Ugh. You distracted me long enough for the girl and the cat to escape. Chivalrous, but ultimately pointless. There's no way those two can stop my minions. Oh, you're finally awake! I'm so relieved! Oh, I'm sorry. Where are my manners? My name's Iksu. And I suppose I'm what you would call Yoon's guardian. Yes, that's right! He's standing in front of your very eyes! I am the infamous serial killer, Barry the Chopper! <laughs> Section Commander Hanji, come quickly! <gasps> The test subjects! They're dead! Both of them killed! Ah, and I see the intent. By donning the four treasures of Riestes, you have become a symbol of the kingdom itself. A living treasure. I must return to help find a solution. But how can I face my little brother, and the elders, and my mother? Without bringing back any money for water, I fail. The trust you people put in a sniveling weasel is astonishing. Your body might be able to learn my moves, but your brain can't even see through a simple lie. Whatever stunt you're trying to pull, it's not going to work. Either resume the fight or forfeit. I decide what happens to you. I am your master and savior, and that means your worthless lives are mine to keep or throw away. The glasses you're wearing are always slipping, and you have to push them back up. So the lady of the house custom ordered a new pair for you. Isn't she just the most thoughtful young woman you've ever met? Oh, great wind. Always support it, old Jin, you did, so don't let today be the end. Because if I pull this off, I owe it all to you! You actually made my hand numb with that last attack. It's a very good thing you can't hit me with it, or I might be in some trouble. The only proper fighter here, by which I mean the only one I wouldn't want to fight, is you. You're the strongest primate high schooler. Shishio Sukasa, after all. There's no bravery in this man, but I think he speaks the truth. We were loath to kill him for the crime of simply being here. Plus, you've also got the added work of training one for all successor. You insist on remaining the symbol of peace, and the only way you can justify staying out of the spotlight is by teaching. That's why I gave you this job. Oh dear, you're smoking. That can't be good. What a pain. I've been ignoring him, but he just keeps going on and on about some dumb Yakuza movie he saw. And he's terrible at summaries. How many guys are there? Enough. I hate to use this technique, but it's time to deploy my annoyed face. You cried for his death before it happened. You knew you'd never see his face again. You cried for what you were about to do. Now where's that hero? Is this not enough to draw him out? I can kill more! I can do this all day, am I right? Dreams are such precious, beautiful things. It is a shame that they must fade and die with the harsh light of day. Had you but accepted it for what it was, the dream could have become a memory. That's an odd little brother you have there, Silverblade. He somehow seems different than the reincarnations of Say. So remember this. Mercy and compassion are virtues that only the strong are privileged to possess. And I am strong. Ah, I get it. Good old extortion, huh? This one's on me. Enjoy! Ask the bus and it'll hear you. Or maybe not. It doesn't actually have ears, does it? I really would like to resolve this peacefully if it's at all possible. You'll be a good boy and play along nicely now, won't you? This isn't my power. You're the one who made this army. Just admit it. I'll be covering reports from the Kanto region. Several of them concern suspicious vampire activity. Among other things. They may pretend to be your friends. Even if they do, your parents have to turn them away. They can't ever be allowed inside the house. Got it? You act like you don't even know me. After everything that I've done for you? The Millennium Earl is insane. He's forgotten everything, and he became a puppet of destruction. And you, Alan, you've also managed to become an insane puppet. That's exactly right. However, Black Cat, I'm sure you understand why we do that. 
You know firsthand the effectiveness of our absolute approach, don't you? Hello, Yuri. Starting today, I'm going to be your new coach. You're going to get to the Grand Prix Final, and you're going to win. I've no problem, you foolish and weak rodent. In front of me, the Dark Sun God himself, your angry cries mean little more than dust in the wind. Here it is, people. This is where we're playing. Welcome to Stage 3. Audience capacity, 12,000. Okay. Well, we were just talking about how our family's a lot more fun these days, and how it's really all because of you, kinda. No, not that I can remember. Although I wasn't really aware that people from other worlds existed back then. Why do you want to know? No, no! I was hoping you'd let me give you a hand. What? See, I'm a big fan of helping people out. I like to offer assistance to others whenever I can. <laughs> wow, who knew you Oron guys were so funny? You know, it's such a prestigious school. I've always imagined it was a whole different world. Please allow me to make our introductions. I am the lowly branch manager of a trading company. My name is Lau. Besides, I hide dark secret no one will guess because of my sweet face. An evil secret. When I look into all of your stupid faces, I think of how much fun it will be to pound them into dust. It must be quite rare, if even an old sword like me hasn't seen one before. How peculiar. There's more to me than glasses, you know. But I guess it's fine. Uh, hi. Maybe they'll make me memorable, right? What do you think? I'd love it if you would try it on. <sighs> if you want, I'll style your hair, too. Quick monster fact. These guys are lizard men, a subhuman yet highly intelligent species that look just like lizards. Whee! Oh, the patient. It thinks my bedside manner could stand to improve. But the little guy seems to be quite fond of you, Doctor. So what? Uh, I like Yon Maru. Uh. Being lost is no fun, number six. I hope you're back to your old self soon. I see. So that's their strategy. That means the game isn't just throwing soldiers at one another. What's the matter? Haven't you had enough? I can tell that you've been trained by some really amazing martial arts masters. But your ridiculous naivety makes it basically worthless. They fight to essay their ideals. And those, regardless of shape, foundation, or substance, converge in the person of the king. I believe it's because a being that was not a true administrator, namely me, regressed the world. 